Meanwhile, the high school class of 2021 is a generation of students who endured more than a year of canceled sports seasons, isolation, and online learning. All this week, we're going to spotlight a spectacular Valley senior. And starting today with a student body vice president who is a recipient of the Obama scholarship at ASU. Yeah, it's quite the accomplishment for a student who's hardly known English for a couple years. Here's her story. My name is Gian Alcaraz. I'll be graduating from Skyline High School and I'll be attending ASU this year. I was actually uh, born in the United States, but then my parents moved uh, to Mexico. I arrived to the United States about five years ago uh, just because I wanted a better education and I knew there was something better for me. So, you know, I miss them. I miss my home, my siblings. If I have to give any advice to anyone is that don't give up. Even though it was my second year here and I didn't know much English, like I struggle to like speak or write it. My English teacher, uh, Marta Connolly, she pushed me to take AP language and composition. So at first I thought she was crazy because I was like, I don't even know the basics and you want me to take an AP class? However, she was sure that I was gonna make it. I really appreciate you for that. <laughs> You don't, you don't know what I have gained from you. And I started learning English, and then eventually I was like, you know what, I should probably start joining clubs. I joined the tennis team, I am in National Honor Society, I joined the student council, and I would have never thought that I would be one of those people. The pandemic has taught me that you need to value all the moments that you have with your family and friends. For example, we couldn't have prom or we couldn't have uh, the football games. Now we have to brainstorm ideas of how we're going to have students to have fun. I am very excited to attend ASU because it's like a dream. I'm super grateful with everyone that has been supporting me to this point and I have always had a purpose and that's helping people. Like I said, I was in Mexico and I experienced a lot of things. So I'm hoping that with my career, I can just work to make a change. Well, tomorrow we hear from a student leader in Levine who uses martial arts and a relentless optimism to cope with the pandemic. Our coverage of the class of 2021 continues. If you know about a school story you think we should cover or a concern we should investigate, just email us at connect at 12news.com.